Welcome back once again to another episode of KingCast. I am Jeff Osborne, and today we get a wrestling lesson from the king. Now, don't get your hopes up. It's not the secret powers of taking down the strap. It's not how to deliver a pile driver or how to throw the fire. It is something much more important. It's business and longevity of a company. Many would argue that WCW and the WWF and their Monday Night Wars would be considered competition. But how did Jerry Lawler and Jerry Jarrett manage to keep the territory alive long after all the other territories faded away? It's a valuable lesson in competition versus opposition. Now when you see these guys, and I don't know how much of the current AEW product you've watched in a while, but when they're, they're busting out all these gimmicks. Can I tell you? Before you even ask me? Does it look like a circle with a line? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I've ever watched an entire episode. I watched a little bit early on to see JR. Jim Rocks! JR to join us here at the desk for the second hour of Dynamite. And what a second hour we have coming up. Um, but other than getting interested or invested in any of their matches, I, I just, you know, I, I, I don't work for them. And yeah. so I, I don't really care what they're doing. Right. I mean, that was, that was something I learned a long time ago with, uh, with Jerry Jerry and I when we were partners. We'd have, we would have what we called in that day and time opposition. You know, we, we had, to, we had to own, basically owned the territory, uh, where it was like all of Tennessee, all of Kentucky, northern Mississippi, eastern Arkansas, northern Alabama. That was our territory. And we promoted all the cities in there. Well, every now and then some promoter would say, well, I, you know, I can't work for those guys, so I'm gonna start a promotion of my own. Hello everybody, welcome to another sensational hour of International All-Star Wrestling. I'm your hostess, Liz Hewlett. We've got a fantastic program for you, bringing you some of the finest professional wrestling stars from all over the world. Randy Savage, Angelo Poffo, they were a classic example of that. Uh, you know, they started up in Lexington, Kentucky, which was one of our, our decent towns. And they started their own little promotion. They went out and got a, got a show on TV. And, and, and every week on their show, they would be challenging me or Bill Dundee. Yeah, we were certain. Dream match, $100,000! Macho Man versus Jarrett Dundee and Tojo! I don't know what else I can do to you, man. I don't know what else I can do. Later on in the program, I got more information for you, man. Hundreds, man. Mwah! My own personal money! Look what I'm gonna do to him. Jared, Tojo, and Dundee, they're yours, man! That Randy Savage would be out there, you know, uh, come on, Lawler. Uh, and, and, excuse me, Jerry Jarrett and I just said, you know, the best way to deal with that is just ignore him. Just ignore him, no. And, and so, that is kind of in the back of my mind when I think about AEW. Uh, you know, I, I know they're out there, but you know, I'm not going to waste. I, I don't. I don't work for them, and I'm not going to waste my time watching that. You, you got sports games to watch. Absolutely. Okay. 